You have bigotry, you have racism. Also, uh, the old colonial superiority complex is still very present in many people's minds uh, in, in the West and, and in America in particular. And uh, what's interesting about this, uh, you know, uh, wax comment, uh, this took place on uh, Tucker Carlson's show. Right? And he's, he, he very much represents uh, what in politics we would say, say is the American right. Right. And of course, you also have people from the left also be very critical of Hinduism and so on. Uh, the revulsion and, and dislike toward India and Hinduism spans the political spectrum in yeah. America. Yeah. And uh, in fact, I've, um, I, I have a lot of Hindu friends who feel very drawn to the American right. You know, they feel drawn to the Republican Party. And I, I'm very, it saddens me to say this, but that conversation between Wax and Carlson, that's what they really think. That's what they really think of, of India and Hindus. And so there, if you think in terms of the political spectrum, uh, Hindus don't have natural allies in America. I, the natural allies of Hindus in America are people who are seekers who are discontent with the whole systems. Yes. Yeah, exactly. This sort of binary way of thinking. Everything is left, right, left, right. And uh you know, uh, the dominant discourse is is a uh, dispute uh, dispute between Christianity and atheism, and there's no other alternatives, right? Absolutely. And so, uh, those of us who are discontent with that, we feel drawn to traditions like Hinduism, like Buddhism, mm -hmm. uh, and that's not a voice you you hear represented very often in the American political spectrum. Mm -hmm. And when it is, the, the the people get made fun of. Oh, they're kooky. They're new age. They're you know not serious, and, and so on. Mm -hmm.